Hell is my Phoenix Guide on Ascent. This is kind of inspired by the um, EMEA qualifiers. Um, because I feel like a lot of people are going to be wanting to pick up Phoenix in ranked on Ascent sometimes. Um, because of the EMEA qualifiers. I might be a bit inspired to play him. So I'll um, start off on defense on A. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest things to show. Because a lot of people want to know how to do it. What you do is you just go on to the, you go to this brick, this like brick line and this wire. You just go in the center of the wire, in, in like um on the brick, and then you want to aim um the mouse indicator on the wire on this wire like the center the center of it, and then you want the fire icon to be on this dark brick. So you just do something like this, and then throw, and it should work. As you can see, it gets all the corners perfect, and he asks you have the perfect amount of time. To, um flash there as well like this it doesn't actually have to be that precise but you can, yeah. then you just flash and as it lands it, it hits the flash as well generally you want to combine it with an omen one way uh, because what it does is if, it ha if there's an omen one way they'll want to commit far um uh, when when uh when there's a one way there right they don't want to they don't want to try and commit like this because they'll die so they want to like jump past you'll get like a jump peak potentially um, or they'll just like run past it really fast with like a flash or something. So then while that's happening, they would have committed about here against the one way. And then they've got a molly falling on them while getting flashed. They're going to run into this corner uh, while flashed. And then they're going to roast um, roast alive. Um, so it's pretty strong uh, setup. But a lot of people are aware of it. Um, so it might not work like every round. Especially if you keep doing it every, um, in the same game. Um, it's one of those things that you've got to use uh, like one or two times. Um, in a in a game, and it will get you value in those rounds um, if you have the right read. Um, generally, I'll play um, past that. I'll play like short area, and when they come out, I'll be flashing out the smoke. Fight them. It's similar to how I play KO, to be honest. Up to the top of this like damaged brick, um, and you just want to aim to the just the left of this. Just past like this uh, like kind of level with this line. Good, Wally. Main, bye main. Um, and then if I want to play short, same thing, um, I'll flash, take fights. Um, if I don't want to actually like take a fight, oh my god, if I don't want to take, sorry I'll wait for this. If I don't want to actually like take a fight but I want to do something interesting in mid, you can do walls like, like this for instance. And then you can sort of uh, like fight hot mid while not being exposed to the tiles. You can also do it vice versa right, so with the same wall. You can do it kind of like, um, okay, I did a bit wrong there, but, but what you can do is, general, the general premise is that you can also fight the area. I mean, this is actually a terrible wall. I did it way too much right. You want to get it like kind of in the middle here. I mean, you don't have to even throw it that, that. You can throw it like this, a lot nicer. You can flash it like this. Yeah. Just don't be afraid of making plays with the wall, I think. I think that's one of the biggest like different uh, differences in good phoenixes versus bad phoenixes is that they don't know how to use the wall. And we'll talk about that a lot more on attack, actually, because on attack, it has some really strong uses um, that you actually have to have like maybe a bit of foresight or um, you actually have to make a play around the wall um, in, in order for it to be like really strong. Um, so next we'll talk about B. Actually, we'll talk about mid. Um, so in mid, I don't really do too much in mid. Um, there's like one thing I have in mid, so you go up to this corner, it's exactly the same as the, the, a, KO, a KO flash, but it's, it's a molly instead. You just want to run into your full momentum, and then it will just bit go over the wall, and there you go, it's a molly for tiles. Um, and, you know, it's good because it, it kind of, it, once again, it's one of those things that kind of give you momentum towards the... It kind of gives you momentum, so you can get close to where you've actually mollied. So you might be able to follow up on like a potential punish if the person tries to run out mid. Um, pretty good. That's what it, like, running, the running stuff, like, helps, uh, you, like, um, get towards you, where you're going, um, during the lineup, so it's quite efficient. Um, next, with B, I, I generally fight B, if I play B, uh, I don't really, like, uh, tend to sit on site very often and things, but he does have, like, there's some strength in his back sight and things, because when people drop down, you can molly them and things, and molly them close, molly them things, Mo molly, molly close, and like it's really hard for them to like fly versus you because they are like forced to take this wide angle and they have to like walk backwards and left to fight you um, and not be in the molly. So I think it's pretty strong to play backside sometimes on Phoenix, but 
Personally, I don't really do that often. Um, because I think there's better agents to do that anyway. Um, in my ranked games anyway. Like Sova and uh, Killjoy. Like the agents like that. Um, but generally I'll flash and fight when I hear footsteps going this way. Um, the problem is, is like, you barely ever get like real value unless you molly something like this. And then flash. But the reason why I want to molly this obviously is quite obvious, right? When I flash someone, they might want to run to this box. And if they run to this box, then they die to my molly. Um, so that's like important that you want to throw like a molly similar to this. Um, and then flash because if anyone tries to get to safety through this box, they're going to die. Um, it's not, doesn't, once again, it's kind of similar to the play on a main. It's just that this one is less likely to get value, I think, um, than the one I main, um, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, I obviously haven't tested them equally, so I don't quite know. Um, then when it comes to, like, if they actually, like, have gotten very far forward and I haven't died yet, then I'll, I'll probably be flashing through this smoke um, to take fights when they come out. Um, maybe even CT smoke. Um, if that's basically when I'm, when I'm retaking B, this is what I'll do. I'll be CT be taking with a flash like this because it flashes a decent amount of sight as well if they're looking over here. Like this. Um, in these angles. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for defense. There's not really too much. Okay, so moving on to attack. We're going to do A first. Um, so on A, I have a molly for a tree. We're going to go into this corner. Um, and then you want to uh, aim at this corner here. This like, little part of the brick. Then you want to go down to the bottom of the brick below it this and you want to jump through and what this will do is it will fully block off the area as you can see it's getting both both corners so it stops people from seeing that smoke be nice generally you want to be able to you want to flash this um if they are fighting it the reason being is because if you do have other flashes they're probably better used they're probably more versatile than yours um so using flash like this is not that much of a detriment for for your team if you use it like this bear in mind if you are the only flash but person with flashes on your team you probably want to find an alternative way to get um, through this. Um, such as um, Fade, Prowler, or uh, maybe even Drone, but Drone's going to have way more value going into sight. So you probably want to like Fade, Prowler, Skybird, which is a flash. Um, but yeah, you know, other flashes or, or no, not other flashes, your flash or like Prowler or something, right? Probably better. Um, next, um, we'll talk about... Um, one of the molly I have, which is you want to go up to this dot um, and aim at this. So you're not you're not actually going to be exposed because they're going to they're going to have a, a smoke here, right? So as long as you're going out during the smoke, um, then you can do this play. You can do you can aim here and then you just run through, um, and then you can get your flash out and flash round. And as it lands, you'll flash. Um, so you'll be out, and these people will be running out the molly. Um, and yeah, you, you'll probably get kills on people. Anyone like looking at main from tree will be flashed, or like heaven will be flashed, or gen will be flashed. So when you, so when these people like run away from the molly, they probably won't be flashed, but that'll be a solo fight because the other people will be hiding because they're blind. So it's pretty strong. Um, to do that way, it's also like a, just just like a one man setup as well. Um, so you know, bear in mind like you could have it could be even stronger with like maybe a KO flash or parallel or reveal or something like that right um then when it comes to uh the wall so the wall is used um to like isolate fights and we can isolate fights with like like i've just showed right that's also kind of isolating fight but you can also do it such as like like this to maybe isolate a fight or short and um, you can also then use this one to flash through if you want to and an isolate a flash on uh, isolate a kill on site if they're they're playing like a tree and a site player um that could be a way to do it. You can also do it to lurk as well. So lurking is not too bad on Phoenix. Um, it's the same as like Jet as well. Um, the reason why people don't like don't like these agents lurking is because they don't realize that it's good at lurking um, to an extent. That it has um, real value when lurking. But they need to be able to communicate that they're lurking and that they won't have an entry. That they won't be able to entry for you. Um, and that they need to, my team needs to play slow, right? When I'm doing this, right? So you probably want to say to your team like, you know, if we don't have other flashes, you don't have flashes for the for the take. So don't 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 play fast. Let me get a, a lurk. You want to be communicating with your team when you're lurking. So there's usually gonna be a turret here if there's Killjoy playing on A. If she's not, then you, this wall is kind of useless. So I would do a wall like this, and you can you can wall off the the turret, and you can walk into sight. Bear in mind, it's quite obvious 
But what you could do is you can even curve the wall. So someone heaven can see this book, right? But you can do it like this, and it'll be way less obvious. Um, I guess it just like trade. I mean, I guess I can see it anywhere, but you can do it like this, and you can like close the door, and you can be the nuisance on site because they that you've bypassed the turret. Um, you've walked like, but maybe you walk short actually. It's probably the better way to do it because when the smoke goes down, the turret's gonna see you anyway. Um, you can do uh, one like Jen as well. You can just isolate a place to run to, um, to get past the the Kildra turret and things like that. Obviously, it's like possible on every part of the map too. So if you go mid, I know a Molly for mid. So if you want to go like, just generally on this bar and aim at the top of this rock, um, and it should land market. Actually, it needs to jump through. Sorry. Bro. Wait, I've messed it up. Have I messed that up? Is it always oh, run? Sorry, it's run jump through. Is it just run? Actually, it's just run. Yeah, it's just run. Okay. What this does is it just stops people from swinging. Um, out mid from market. Um, but it's not really that useful, honestly. I just thought I'd show it because it is possible uh, to use it. And, you know, it took me a bit to, to remember it, so it's clear I don't use it that very much um, because it's not really that useful. But yeah, I thought I'd just show it. Um, if I do go short, then I'm only going to be really flashing here, and then it kind of takes over what I do on A. Um, you can do a wall like this too, to get out if you want to. It's hard for you to like kind of smoke this correctly, um, without like an actual smoke, but you can, you know, sort of apply smokes to an extent for your team, by doing things like this. How did the wall just, how did the, the glass just break? Did it just break from the, the wall? That's a bit weird. I didn't even put the wall there. Um, okay, so in mid, um, if I do go mid, you can do, you can get past the alarm bot by doing a wall like this, or just any type of wall like this, and you can get market. If you are concerned about people seeing you from CT, then what you can do is you can um, wall curved like this. Um, to get, okay, that's a bit too uh, too shallow. You can do a wall like this, um, and what it does is it just stops this player from knowing that there's a wall there. They can hear it potentially, but they might be like concerned like you may have messed it up or something, and then you can actually swing them as well. And they might be a bit more aware, but you can swing them. Um, I think the general better one is probably this one, because it allows you to go market without cont getting contested by this person. Oh, without getting contested by this person. Maybe you have to put it around the, like, past the wall. Yeah, probably past the wall then. I didn't know that even happened. There's a chance that that, that can happen, so I wouldn't do that. I'd put it past the wall then, so there's no chance that it gives a gap. Um, next, we'll talk about B, because uh, um, yeah, mid is kind of... Well, there's not very much to talk about in B. Oh, sorry, mid. Um, so in B... Um, I've got one molly, so you line up with this, and then you want to get full momentum. Oh, sorry, actually, wait, sorry, skipping part of the lineup. Um, you want to look at this middle bar, and you just want to go down from the center of it, um, to this, to this, um, like, I guess, like, trim of the, the wall, the bottom of it. And then you want to wait to get full momentum, you want to run to full momentum and, and run jump. Um, and it should land stairs. Um, so that's pretty nice. But once again, it's a running, it's a running one, so, um... The running one, so you've got like momentum towards where you want to go. I mean, it's not quite that good because you are running kind of into the box. It's not actually that great. If you want to molly uh, this part here, then you just want to bounce it off the sort of like the head of this fish, and it will more or less get there every time. And actually, it will get there every time. You just want to aim more or less at the head of the fish, and it will get there every time as long as you bounce off the head of the fish on the sign. Um, it's pretty strong, pretty easy to do. Um, next we'll talk about the wall. So. With the wall, you can kind of do a lot of different things. You can do stuff like this. Um, so, um, okay, maybe not quite like that. You can do stuff like this where you just put it in the in the doorway, so then it actually smokes it off. Um, as you can see, you can't fully smoke it off. Actually, wait, people can actually peek this still. I mean, that that hits them, so that they are going to get hit by it to peek. To be fair, it's not terrible. Um, the other one that I'm more likely to do is this one, which is also one I do for lurking as well. Um, and what it does is it just blocks off so many sight lines that I can just run, run main, right? Or run run lane. Um, so the turret is going to be there most likely if Kildra is here. So you bypass that with the wall. There's a chance that if she decides to like fully defend B site with the alarm bot, there'll be a alarm bot here with two mollies. Um, if that actually is the case, then this won't work. But uh, what you can do is you can actually play a mind game with this Kildra, where you can do this wall, um, and then the first time you do it, you can lurk into lane. Um, and she might decide to model it, to be honest, instantly, which means that, you know, this is going to work on her very nicely. Um, but, um, if she doesn't molly, then, you know, you can try and punish her through lane. And then, next time you do this lurk, 
Then you can do the same thing, but just don't go lane. You can either go here, or you can just not commit to the lurk at all. So you can go into like boathouse and flash through. Flash yourself. Um, or you can like not even commit to the lurk and just run back to the team. And she'll probably end up losing the mollies. So what you can do, if, if she is susceptible to that, what you can do is you can say to your team to play a slow B main. You'll do this wall. And say to your team, just wait for her to use the mollies. She's going to use the mollies early. And then you can use that to... Um, to execute and you might be thinking like don't this won't, won't the enemy team rotate to you but the thing is is that this killjoy if she's vocal to her team to her team she's going to be saying that the phoenix is lurking b so therefore they probably won't rotate because they won't rotate to the lurk they're going to retain their positions um and wait for the enemy team like your team to like attack somewhere else so they're going to assume that they're somewhere else so it's actually really strong I and mean, you can play like this mind game with the killjoy um and i think uh, like obviously killjoy Phoenix doesn't really excel at like anything particularly and um, he's like pretty good at like a bunch of different things Um, I may have noticed um so far that we haven't talked about the ult And that's because I just want to it's a simple logic to his ult like it doesn't really not really much changes Like there's I don't really have to like there's no lineups a lot of it is just like You want to be finding timings where you can catch a player where they ha have no choice but to fight your ult um, and a, the best way to do this is to run around with like fade sky silver um and to just try and find some people that are like in bad positions it's a lot easier on attack versus defenders because in de defenders kind of have to sit in places to defend the site so they probably are going to put themselves in more vulnerable positions but when you're on defense it's a lot harder so um going to quickly talk about defense for the ult and then we're done um so um when you're defending um what i would do if you have your ult is that I wouldn't just alt the same place every time. Like, I wouldn't just alt a main every time. Um, or I wouldn't just, like, switch it up either. Like, I wouldn't just, like, whenever I got alt, I'll just take it in turns to go B and A. What I would do is I would ask, like, my fade, silver, um, sky, whatever, Heyo, come with me and to try and find where, like, maybe a lurk is or maybe, like, someone that's, like, really easy to kill. Maybe maybe they do have a lurk in a main. Um, we find out with a KO knife. And I can just insta ult off it. It's really strong when you've got like a fade that can like prowl around a corner or a sky that can dog around the corner and just see someone, stun them or blind them. And then they're like in a really tough position to deal with the Phoenix. And that's it for the video. Um, So I hope you enjoyed watching. It's a bit of a weird guide because there's not actually a huge amount to Phoenix. Um, But I just thought I'd show parts of my playbook um, to kind of help people in ranked. Um, Definitely some nice lineups in here. Okay, so that's the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.